What's up, y'all? This is that dude, Barry, from Pro Trending. About to get behind the scenes with Brooklyn Net Small for Royce O'Neal. We're here at Marnie in Miami. About to put together a few fits, have a little conversation, and talk about some style real quick. Let's go. Man, we're about to put together a few fits. I'm going to ask him a few questions. We're just going to vibe out, you know, and make it do what it do. Just to let y'all know, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask Royce. I'm going to put together a few situations for Royce. And he's going to put together a fit using some Marnie pieces. And we'll let y'all decide how y'all feel about him. But obviously, he does this. If you haven't seen him at Fashion Week, if you haven't seen him in the tunnels. So I know you're going to like what he puts together. But that's what we're going to make happen. So first thing I want to do is... You go back to Texas, and it's a family reunion. You don't want to. You don't want to go super crazy, but you want to look good. Okay. So can we put together a fit? Maybe you even you could change into it if you want. That would be good in Texas for a family reunion. Give us a minute. We're gonna be right back with that fit. Let's go. We might just go this T-shirt right here. You know, simple T. You know, still stylish. The pants might be tough. You know, I'm gonna try a couple options on. I don't know. It also depends on what shoes you wear with it, too. You know, something like this, you know, it'll be chill. You know, you know, breathable light. You know, so, we're gonna, we're gonna, I think we're going to try this. We're going to try to see how it looks. We're going to go from there. This is option one right here. Uh, Break it down for me. All right, we got we got the you know simple Marnie T-shirt, white. Mm -hmm. um, these pants, you know, a little comfort, lightweight, and then you know the shoes, more comfortable. Peep the shoe. Oh the my slides. goodness, you he know. wasn't playing with this. Nah, this, this you know this is a light fit, you know, chill. This definitely fits the vibe of going to the family reunion, not trying to sauce up too crazy on the fam, right. but still stepping proper, like. And then I might have some glasses, you know, or a little. Bag. So before you get on to the next fit, I got one more question. What are, give me your top three cities to get dressed in. Ooh, top three. Mm, I mean, of course, New York. Of course. Uh, you know, Miami is a, you know, a different style. You know, I love shopping in Miami. Um, and then I probably just have to say Texas, Houston. I feel like I like to get dressed in a place like New York or California because it's not super hot. Like, I could really get drippy and not have to worry about, damn, I'm going to sweat. Like, in Miami, I don't think I've worn a hoodie yet. I've been here for a year. I have not touched any of my favorite hoodies. So, for me, I'm like a New York City, L.A. guy. We're like, in L.A., on a good day, is 70. On a bad day, is 70. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do. You feel me? I mean, I do have another look, you know, besides this. This is just option one. Okay, so at the family reunion, y'all done had the day functions, the barbecue and everything, and now y'all saying, you know what? Let's go out in Killian, Te let's go out in downtown Texas or something, and then you gonna put on this next fit. Yeah, I got you, I got you. All right, we'll be right back. is back with the with the part B of the first two right now. Like we said, he was at the family reunion. They got a little twisted, and now they said, "Let's go hit the town." So this is the second part of it. You want to break it down for me? Yeah, just see, um, you know, this time we're gonna stand out a little bit. You know, we got the you know Susan Marnie T. You know, his pants, a little flare at the bottom. These pants are something serious, yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, the Marty sneakers, you know, the low tops, you know, just to, you know, for the pants to hang low, you know, 
I ain't no Marty had uh, to, I ain't no Marty had the shoes like that. He yeah, put he no. putting me on. I tried to do a little something. Okay. Uh, got the glasses, of course. You know, uh, I'm, I'm weird. I like wearing glasses. You know, at nighttime, sometimes when we go out, and then a the little bucket hat. You know, I might have a haircut, might not. Um, you know, the, you know the hat. You can't tell. So, and in the bag, you know, just to hold my accessories. Uh, you know, phone, wallet. You know, chapstick stuff like that. So. I dig it. Hey, this might be the winner for me. I really like the last pair of pants, but this this full fit. Once he's once he accessorized it, put the glasses on, the bucket. He came. He came ready for the night. He came ready to have a good night. All right. So I got another. I got another couple of questions. Right. I don't know if people know this, but when you first came out of Barely University, right, you didn't go straight to the league. You went. Where did you go overseas? Uh, I played in Germany, and then I played in Spain. How? What's What's getting dressed? like in Germany was you was you up on the fashion when you were first got to Germany uh, a little bit um, I'd say the European style is you know different you know than we used to so you um, was wearing like fitted fitted pants and yeah. polos or something like that you know the skinny pants you know a little bit um, polos more button up stuff like that um, but now uh, you could just tell, like, you know, the difference from over there, you know, versus like over here, you know, this flag. Right. And they're a little, cl- they're they're like a little more cleaner, yeah, like yeah, type yeah. of vibe. Not to say that we're not here, but they're just more like, you so know, like traditional, yeah, traditional stuff. Right. So. For sure. And then when you first came here, you went to Utah. Yeah. Which is super cold. Oh, man. What is what was like the first thing you bought when you went shopping in Utah? Oh, you remember? Uh, I bought a big jacket, <laughs> big jacket, um, and then I bought a bunch of hoodies. Right. I needed hoodies. I'm a hoodies guy too. Um, I like wearing hoodies in the summer. You know, even being in you know Miami, I still wear them. Texas. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Uh, but yeah, those two I'll probably say you know, especially essential. You know, and a pair of gloves, especially when it started snowing. Oh man, it got mm. real. And I'm from Texas. You will never see me in Utah. <laughs> One place you won't see me in Utah. I was at All Star Weekend in Cleveland like two years ago. Mm. I was miserable. I was miserable as heck. I, w- I was like, damn, I don't even own a pair of gloves. I don't even own a jacket. I started my, my fashion brand a little bit after that. The first thing I made was a puffer jacket. I'm like, I won't be unprepared ever again. You feel me? So next we going first of all, dope fit. Good job. You aced the first two, right? Next fit we're going to do is, let's see, speaking for somebody who might need some advice, they might not know how to step in this situation, you got a first date. Uh-oh, okay. At a, where where at, are we going? We, at, we in Miami for this one. We was in Texas okay. for the last one. We in Miami on a first date. Sunday Sunday brunch vibes. Sunday brunch. So let me get you. Let me see your best Sunday brunch vibes on a first date. You know you gotta. If you can't let the drip be the reason why you don't get the second date, you might be a little corny. You might crack a bad joke. But if there's one reason that's not gonna get in the way of the second date, it can't be the drip. Right. Okay. So let us see what you got for that one. All right. All right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You see me? I like two pieces too. You know, you can never go wrong. You know, a good top and bottom that match. You know. It's always a great option, especially for brunch. So um, let's see here. I'm gonna have to. We might have to go back in the bag for this one. So I'm gonna stay tuned. All right, y'all. We back with the second fit. I told Royce to go put together an outfit for a Sunday brunch date, you know. He he tried to ask me if he liked it. Does he really like the girl or is she just like, no, this is, looks like a, you trying to get married fit right here. I'm just saying, break this down for us. Yeah, you know, we just kept it, you know, casual, you know, still fly up, a little two-piece. Uh, I got the dunks, you know, a little swag. You got the little bag, you know, money bag, you know, small. All I need is my wallet, my phone in here. This bag is fire. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I, I really rock with this bag. It's in the glasses, you know, very different. You know the Oh my goodness. Stand out a little bit. He really does this. I could tell. Like, these glasses are something serious. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. 
<laughs> okay, you, you, you said you got the dunk song. What's yeah, this? What's, what this feel like? Oh, I thought this might have been some silk or something. It just yeah. it drapes so nice that you would probably think it was silk from a couple feet away. Right. For real, for real. real okay. Com- real comfy and casual. I dig it. Then you got the little chain, you know. What's that say? Abundance. Abundance. Hey, he don't run out of drip. Uh, uh, 82 games. He probably got enough fits for 172 games. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you could only wear one color for, let's say for for six months, you could only wear one color. One color. Like what you what you gonna go with? I, I don't try to say black because everybody wants to be. I, if at one point it was a fad to say I only wear black clothes, yeah. but he's clearly a colorful guy, so I feel like you're gonna surprise me right here. That's the thing about it. Mm, that's tough. Do I get shades, different shades? You know, if you go with blue, you could have a light blue, dark blue, but like you gotta yeah. pick one color. I think man, that's tough. I think I might go tan. Hey. Yeah. I like this guy. I like this guy. Last little situation for y'all, right? We did the family reunion. Then we did the family reunion, hits the town. Then we did Sunday brunch, first date. First of all, you getting a second date with this. Y'all think so? Let us know in the comments if you think you're going to get a second date with this fit. I believe so. So the next one we're going to do is, so Russ, you live in New York City. New York is home of the New York Stock Exchange, Wall Street, right? So I want you to give me a nice fit for if you're going to meet with an exec that you might want to talk about a little business deal or something. You got you to gotta step out in New York City. I don't know. Where they do that at in New York City? Soho? Yeah, so you want me to get my professional back in your See, you could be slightly professional, but they know who you are, so it's not like they're expecting you to come in a suit. They know you're going to put it on properly, even if it's a little more casual or more like streetwear-ish, but you're going to put it on right. But ultimately, you want them to know you You know what you're talking about. You're a smooth guy, professional. You know how to get dressed. Right. So let us get a fit for a, a meeting in New York City. With a business, with a businessman, but you can't not a suit or nothing. Okay. You just want to look good, but like proper good. You feel me? Okay. Got we'll be right back. Uh, Royce is back with the third and final fit. I asked him to go put together a fit that will work for where he plays basketball in New York City for a meeting with a businessman. I don't know about y'all, but I'm seeing deal secure right here. Break this fit down for us. Okay, we got the, you know, the Marnie crew, crew neck sweater. You know, being in New York, it is cold. But I don't want to go hoodie, you know. Keep it a little professional. Uh, you know, great, great little texture. And then, you, now you know, we got the pants, you know, dress pants, little flare, you know, at the bottom. Then we had the, you know, the Marnie kicks. And then it's the bag, you know, I got to bring my laptop, you know, my phone, my, you know, business goodies right here. So, do y'all know the expression? He knew the assignment? He really knew the assignment. He brought the laptop bag. That's situational awareness right here. That's why he locked down defender three point shooter. He know the situation. He know he need the little bag. He know he need a laptop bag. He's one of them. I'm telling you. All right. So after all of this, I feel like I've gotten a little bit, gotten to know a little bit about your style, about how you look at a fit, how you break it down. I want to ask you, how would you describe your style? Uh, different. Uh, you know, I like to express myself. You know, I like wearing bright colors. I don't mind it. Uh, I feel like, you know, pop more. It didn't just stand out. What is usually your thought process? Is, is it like, you know, the song you were listening to, my, you know, the, the weather or the car that you're driving today or like these shoes I really want to put them on? Like, how do you put together a, how do you put together a fit? See, me, I got to match everything from top, bottom, shoes, my socks, and my bag. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the shoes. See what shoes I want to wear. Um, definitely gotta check the weather. <laughs> uh, that's a whole nother situation. But uh, I think probably the shoes. You know, they're gonna tell the story. I'm gonna put Royce to the test right now. What is the difference between style and fashion? And then I'm gonna tell you what my answer is. For me, my style tells the story. 
you know, tell the little creativity. Fashion is like, you know, you know, the clothes, accessories, stuff like that. Style, you know, you got to put it together. How you wear it. Hey, That's how he was pretty, he was pretty spot on what I was going to say. I was going to say style is who you are. Fashion is what you buy. I mean, you own a store, we buy fashion pieces. But style is how you put it together. You know, these fits were all unique to Royce and situations that he or any of us might be in. But we all going to put it together differently. That's style. Some people... Their, their style is so them that you, you know that, like, nobody else could do this. You know, that's what style is. Fashion is pull it off the mannequin, put it on, you know. Who do you think we should do this with next? The person that you say you have to be able to help, right? Okay, I see. Let's go. I'm, uh, it's going to be funny. Go to Donovan Mitchell. Just add it in and see how his style changed from his rookie year to now. Okay, so Spider, if you're seeing this, Mr. Spider... We would love to have you on, um, put a little couple situations together and see how you put it on. You spent some time with Royce and you think you think you I'm just I'm just saying I did have an influence on that. <laughs> Mr. Influential Royce O'Neal. First of all, I wanna thank Marnie for letting us be here. Thank you for participating and being a good being a good sport. It's been real. I think all questions are answered that Royce could really put it on. One of the underrated best dressed. Um Appreciate y'all for watching. Shout out to the, all the drippers in the league. If you want to be on, just reach out to us. We'll make it happen. It don't matter where you at. I might just pop up at your local store. We're going to go have some champagne and uh, let Royce finish his shopping. Y'all have a good one. This is that dude, Barry.